What's up, Lorehounds? It's Koopy here with Zeke Sparks, the executive producer for Brawlhalla from Blue Mammoth Games. So, you guys, you know, I was walking over here, was telling Jeremy, we're going to see Brawlhalla. How has this game not come out for the PC yet, where we're talking a frenetic FFA style beat em up, yep. a la Brawl and Power Stone and stuff like that? You get the spark of wisdom just suddenly yeah. came. Well, it was you know our first game is a is a 2D MMO, a side scroller, and we had to focus on PVE. Mm -hmm. We didn't have enough time to do both. So when we started doing PVP, we realized it was a full game all on itself. <laughs> and then we started thinking about it, and we were like, well, there's nothing like this. There's yeah. like you said, there's 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 fighters, but there's not that sort of like party beat them up, send them off the edge, send them flying kind of. Uh, more frenetic style game. So once we kind of realized that, we said, well, you know, is that a game that we can make that other people can't make? I said, well, yeah, let's, so let's do it. Let's do it before somebody else does. In fact, you're already working on it as right. your PVP aspect of another game. Exactly, exactly. And it was just so much fun that we had to, you know, we just had to make it its, full, its own full title. So super slick controls, super accessible. You know, you got a couple of buttons. Just uh, basically a game pad is kind of where you would play this on your PC even. Yeah. I'm sure there's some keyboard mouse or oh, death yeah. people out there. Um, but, you know, you got a heavy attack, a light attack. Uh, a triple jump yep. and dodge and throw, yep. and then otherwise you just move around. Yep, pretty much. Right, and so super accessible. That was the, that was kind of the point, and yeah. then you got that depth in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we wanted to make sure that anybody could kind of get it, pick it up, and start playing. And then we wanted it to, you know, we we love the competitive aspect. We love the competitive competitive community. When to throw your weapon versus when to keep it. You know, you can bounce it off your opponent's head and kind of catch it in mid air. Mix in a little of the unarmed move set. And so the really high-end players kind of shift their move sets a lot more than uh, than you would expect. And so, you know, we're trying to make sure that that depth is there so that the community can, you know, there's there's room to grow as a player, whatever you are. You can you can start playing right away, but then there's always more to learn and always more to learn. So right now you have uh, about a baker's dozen of characters. Yeah. What's kind of the the breakdown of them? You, you know, how do they play the archetypes? Yeah. Well, so. Uh, the archetypes for our characters, they're weapon-based. So each character has two different weapons that they can use. And as you play the game, you'll pick those weapons up, and they kind of define your moveset. So your moveset actually changes based on what weapon you have. So it's almost more that you want to talk about, you know, each character has their own stats, they have their own special moves, but the archetypes are kind of the weapons themselves. So we've got, like, the hammer, which is, like, big and heavy and hits like a truck. And we've got the sword, which is like super fast and speedy. And so you'll actually have characters that can switch those modes back and forth. Like our marquee guy, Bodvar, uh, our Viking, yeah. goes back and forth between hammer and sword. So he dramatically changes gameplay. So uh, what do we have as far as customization? We saw there was, uh, you can change your color palette and stuff like that. But I'm sitting there thinking like, oh, they're going to go crazy on skins. Oh, yeah. And then I realized that was the next option is I got to change yeah. the skin too. Yeah. So in addition to colors, um, there, you know, the skins are most, uh, um, the skins are like the most dramatic change that you can make to the character. And we just try to find things that are super cool and uh, themed to the character to begin with. Like, and they don't always have to be in the same genre. So like Bodvar, our Viking, one of his cool skins, we thought, well, what would he be if he was a modern day guy? Well, big tough trucker guy. <laughs> so he's got like a trucker cap and he's got like a stop sign instead of a hammer. And that's the other avenue. You, you can actually buy uh, skins for the weapons themselves. Okay. So if you have characters that use spears, you know, you can buy a skin for the spear and then now you can have all of those characters using this different spear, you know. So we try to make sure that there's a lot of different things you can do to make those characters kind of your character. So obviously we're, we're looking at different types of game modes uh, coming in. There's a standard FFA. Yep. What about like 2v2 yep. or team ranks and stuff like that? Yeah, so right now we just released our 1v1 ranks play. It's our first okay. It's our first in-game competitive scene. Uh, we had the players had been doing a lot of tournaments organized on their own, and so we wanted to make sure there was something with some real teeth in it, like just right out the gate. Um, and as the community grows, we'll be adding like the 2v2 gameplay. Um, we actually even internally have 4v4 working, and so that's something that we'll likely see the light of day as we get a bigger and bigger community. I, I would love that for like land party versus land party. Yeah, well, it's uh, <laughs> actually our 4v4 is uh, it works online. It works pretty flawlessly, so <laughs> you don't even need to get the land party together. <laughs> Do you guys have a lot of different maps coming up that completely change the general play style? Yeah, we actually just started uh, new for for uh, PAX East. 
we have our first map that actually has moving platforms in it. And so now we're actually developing, we're looking at all the different things we can do with that. So uh, pretty soon we'll be releasing one that saying that it has moving platforms kind of sells it short. It's almost like uh, it's almost like it just kind of rearranges itself periodically as you're fighting on it. So it's not this constant movement thing, but the battlefield is always just kind of slightly different at different stages of the game. So we'll just keep doing more and more cool stuff like that. Sounds awesome. We got dodges, we got weapons, we have wall jumps, yep. uh, all sorts of stuff coming from Brahalla. Yep. When are actually we looking for a full release? Because we're currently still in closed beta. Yeah, we're in closed beta now. Um, you can sign up just at Brahalla.com. We bring people in pretty frequently. Uh, but uh, you know, hopefully 2015. To us, early access is all about getting the feedback of the community actually listening and changing the game based on what everybody is telling us. And so as long as what we put out isn't quite right, we still want to take it and work on it and fix it before we, so it's hard for us to give like a firm date, but 2015, we're looking pretty good. All right, well, Lorehouse, we'll make sure you get in the community a little easier. I'm gonna get some keys from Zeke and we'll see you guys later. Fantastic, thanks. thanks.